Aha. Uh -huh. It's been a while since I've been in here. I was telling Josh, and we used this room quite a bit with the solar car back in the day. And whenever we needed the crane and the high ceiling, this was not here back then. You yeah, have my phone number and you have my email address. I hope you, I hope you look for me so we can, uh, I can. Hi. So, so what are you doing today? Why are you so dirty? Well, I am working on the, the big box. It's a uh, slope stabilization. So we're going to start loading all the soil, putting it into the box, and instrumenting it. We'll build the slope. The paint lines are the slope that we're we'll building. Reference line. Yeah, that's the final, but we'll build it in lifts. So that's actually really clear of where all the instrumentation goes. That's the side view, so that's actually if you wish to stand on the left side. So when, when you thought about doing, uh, you know, your graduate degree and started thinking about doing research, I mean, did, did you know you were going to be running a bobcat and... I did actually, because I was an undergraduate here and I worked on this project as an undergraduate researcher. As an undergraduate, you get into the research department of it, you can kind of keep on switching jobs, switching projects until you kind of find that little niche that you like to do. So like a lot of people, they get their undergraduate and they're ready to go out and get a job and start making money. Why did you choose to go to graduate school? Um, to get a master's degree and eventually make more money. Um, when you graduate with an undergraduate, you're a civil engineer, you kind of know a little bit about everything. And I already knew that I like geotech soils mm -hmm. and stuff. So then you go to grad school and you specialize and you learn more and more just about geotech. You know. And also the job wasn't very good. So. <laughs> How did you find out that engineering as a field, like that you could study, exists? I had a friend that was an electrical engineer and I knew that I liked math and sciences. So I started off an electrical engineer just because that's what he did and I hated that. So. I like being outside and, and like getting dirty, so I moved into civil engineering. So dirt, soil. We call it soil, but yeah, it's dirt. 